You met me as, as me. Yes. Yes. Bro, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes. Do you have what it takes to be a bad? Oh, honey. You know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular hot ass gossiper. Oh, honey. I was born a bag. And so are you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. I say it again. I am rich. You're what? That's right, girl. T H A G. Popular, hot ass, gospel. Hey, that's right. Yes. Yes. I mean, sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey. And that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Not the other one. But that counts. Girl, what is this, Plum Burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. You met me as, as me. Yes. Yes! Bro, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes! This is 99J. 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 Yes! Girl, what is this, Plum Burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes! Thank you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. I, I say it again. I am rich. You're what? Okay. So my question is just hilarious. Why is the the constant? Why do you constantly call for me? What you keep calling for me? Girl, there she go. Girl, there she go. I'm going to put this on speaker. Okay. Put it on speaker. Miss Jess, I'm going to start with you. Okay. And I'm going to start with you, Miss Hilarious, because you think you funny and you not. Now, you had all ample opportunities to sit down, have a conversation, and get whatever's on your chest off of. We could have talked this hilarious to hilarious. We could have had conversation from hilarious bitches to hilarious bitches. We could have had a whole bunch of conversations, right? Now, you tapped Charlamagne on his shoulder and asked him, "What, what is, she, is she your friend? Did, did, did she call you up? Did she this and the other? No. But I tapped you on your shoulder and I hit you up and I text your phone and we FaceTimed each other during the times when, because you still salty about that whole period stuff. And I have really been treading lightly on you because I don't want to come off as the angry trans, the angry tranny. And excuse all my trans sisters and brothers that's in a, that are that's gonna be watching this or whatever. You are gonna hear me talking to these puss ass motherfucking hoes in layman's terms. I ain't talking to these hoes with with with, with correct terminology, bitch. I'm finna talk to these puss ass motherfucking hoes in layman terms. All right, Charlemagne. When I came to the Breakfast Club, right, we chopped it up. We key, you know, we ain't have no motherfucking pressure. You know this. We've never had pressure. 
we set up and we talked about before the cameras even start rolling how me and Kaya used to sit our motherfucking ass together and be roasting y'all and bitch how y'all thought it was funny. So you know we ain't got no pressure. So obviously, you know that I was not threatening you. Me, what how, how, what am I threatening you for when you're talking about a whole big bad community that I'm also joking and saying I'm a big bad, a part of the big bad community. So my whole thing is, girl, we already see that you let Miss Hilarious sit next to you over there, try to put jumper cables on your back. But because you are a smart man, you let you left Miss Hilarious out there in the land of the he's to, so the he's can eat her ass up. And here they are. Just. We already know that the rumors have circulated around boredom water. That nigga named Chris that you was fucking and that you almost had a baby from and you didn't was fucking other niggas. So again, when I was supposed to light your ass up the very first time over that period shit, I was supposed to come in swinging like that. But I didn't. I chose a soft route because I was like, I don't want to have pressure with her because we don't have no pressure. I don't want to have pressure with this broad because we don't have pressure. We just have a difference of opinion. But I see what you're doing here. I, I see what you're doing here. You are transphobic. You are homophobic. You are those things. That every single time that I try to give you an opportunity to very much so not go in that direction with you, you give me another opportunity to be like, damn, she, she just might be. I feel like that you're an ignorant bitch and, and, and there are ignorant bitches that exist and you have the right to be an ignorant bitch. And if you if you are what you are, stand on it, bitch, just like I stand on it. I got titties at the motherfucking top and dick at the motherfucking bottom, bitch. And I don't I don't play no games with anybody. Ask me any questions, bitch. And I don't identify as a female bitch. I identify as a she male. I identify as that. So we don't have there are no confusions about any of the situation. Just hilarious. OK, now, when I was talking to you before about you have some uh, 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 internal shit that you got to uh, uh, break free from. We all hear the things about you hoes out in the motherfucking streets, just like y'all. We, we hear about each other. So we hear about you hoes out in the streets. And a lot of you hoes that be having issues with the punks and the trannies and the faggots because one of y'all niggas done got fucked and sucked on or done got cummed in. And bitch, you from a city. You, where you, where she from? Baltimore? Baltimore. You know them Baltimore niggas fucking suck more punks, bitch, than in these hoes, these niggas in Atlanta. And a lot of you hoes get trapped up in it. And not just that, you also have masculine energy you are a pretty girl i have said this even when i was on tamra hall show even when i don't occupy all those spaces and i was like i felt her plight i have felt her plight i have felt her plight i understand that women uh, feel like they're being policed by womanhood and and, and being inclusive to trans women and they don't want to do this in the other you can check any interview i ain't never came at your neck and i came to you to you. I ain't get on the internet doing X, Y, and Z. I came to you. Bitch, you know when we say caving in the face, or what, we're from two different areas, but we know that I wasn't threatening uh, Charlemagne the God. For what? For what? See, the thing about it is what all the people over there that want to jump on your pussy lips is that they're sitting here because I'm a tranny. They want to sit here and overlook the fact that you as a woman who just almost a year ago, if it not was a year ago, was calling for men to protect us. Men to protect us. And then you sitting right next to a nigga who's, who's, who's talking about a, a woman, bitch, and you jumped in on the bandwagon, help dragging her, right? Come on, we ain't even really, we ain't even, we ain't even really done, right? Then you sit over here with your small back, right? With your small, tiny back that you have, bitch. And you let Country Wayne play in your face on fucking Shannon Sharp show and tell you to leave him alone. So obviously, bitch, big back holes and small back holes have some of the same motherfucking problems. See, the, the thing about it was you thought that you was going to come into it with a nigga that had 66 baby motherfucking mamas and was going to be wifey. And he showed your ass and you still running your motherfucking small back ass around here giving that man problems. That man said, leave me alone. It's been five years. It's been five years, bitch. Leave me alone. Get some new material. <laughs> leave me alone. But let 
let's talk about Chris that was allegedly was fucking them punks in Baltimore, bitch, that you was fucking off on, that was fucking them punks in Baltimore that really initially started your disdain for the girls. And Burrell energy. So the streets say, let's talk about that. Let's talk in the words of Azalea Banks. Let's talk about that. And then you have the audacity to have so much nigga energy running through your motherfucking uh, chain-smoking voice, having ass, bitch. So much nigga energy that you got with you, bitch, that you attract niggas that probably fuck punk. And it's okay. That don't make you less of a woman. Hell, you pregnant now. But my thing is, you... The pressure that you want with me, you really don't want it with me. The pressure that you got with me, you got with yourself. He Miss hilarious. Every time them niggas was sitting over there calling you a he and 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 all that type of shit to be funny, I cringe because I'm like, she don't look like no he to me. She don't have this. She she you know I'm over here. I be in defense mode with you puss assholes and y'all hold me over here. You would have really loved for Charlemagne to say that he was gonna bash me in my motherfucking face when he saw me. You would have really loved for that. That's what y'all hoes want to hear from your from, from your mouth or from your ears. You want to hear niggas saying how they'll beat a punk up. Because that makes you feel secure that you got a secure nigga. But Miss Hilarious, <laughs> let me explain something to you. I didn't fuck your nigga. Them other punks did. I wasn't sucking your nigga dick. Those other punks was. I wasn't motherfucking the one feeding your nigga dick, bitch. Allegedly, those other punks was doing it. And that's why you moved on and found you some other niggas who, bitch, you, you, hold, you, you hoes put your heads on the chopping block about. You don't know what the fuck them niggas going to do with their life. But my thing to you is we had a whole ample opportunity not to be in this place. You, you be tapping me lightly on my shoulder, tapping me on my shoulder. And I'll be like, no, I'm not going to go this route because I don't have because I don't have no problem with you. Bitch, I'm confident in me having a titties and a motherfucking dick. And the word tranny, tranny, transsexual, transvestite, that don't offend me, bitch. I've made so much money off there. My cock is all over the internet, bitch, from that. But the problem is, is that you really won't address the fact that it is. Bitch, you got internalized homophobia and transphobia because this is something that you deal with on a, on a time-to-time -time basis, bitch, all the time. You are a pretty girl. We're not going to take that away from you. You are a pretty girl. But, bitch, you have a lot of masculine energy. And a lot of niggas call you a motherfucking nigga. They liken you to a tranny. They do. And you have had issue with that, girl. Imagine being a real woman, a real woman, and you motherfucking run around, and a nigga is saying, hey, you, you, you're not a dude, is you? Because you know you do got a lot of dude energy. How y'all Baltimore hoes talking about? Oh, that? I caught it. I heard that Baltimore accent you just no threw in there. You, 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 you do. And then for you to sit your motherfucking slinky neck ass up there and Whoa. say, what kind of you name? slinky neck ass up there. This coming from a big back bitch with a big head, a big throat, a big dick, big ass, big back in a big pocketbook and big motherfucking presence. You sat your slinky neck ass up there and said that I didn't have anything to motherfucking do it. I just inserted myself. Well, what about the time when that when that queen was talking about uh, periods and all that type of shit? What did you have to fucking do with it? What did you have to do? Because they weren't talking to your ass. And then you get on the breakfast club and you have an opinion just like everybody else has an opinion. Y'all have your opinion and we are waiting on it. We waiting on the opinion. So how did I insert myself into something? And I was and I jokingly said. Hey, girl, hey, all my big back women, is we finna get in here and cave Charlemagne face here or what? You know I'm not finna try to hit Charlemagne in his face, bitch. You see how you, got, you see how you got your eyes and your face leaning to your screen, seeing what I'm saying? I'm caving in your face right now. This is what a face caving in looks like. Just hilarious. Sus, and that's S-I-S, bitch. I get sick of y'all sitting over there throwing the rocks and hiding y'all hand, and then all of a sudden you become victims. Uh, now, now we're, now we're, we're um, oh, let me get in the, the right tone. Uh -huh. So what we gonna say about, what if she did in her community, in her community? Hold your voice deeper than mine. And you pregnant. Get the fuck out of here. Bitch, you need to be rapping on the track. 
You got MC Light Energy, Remy Ma Energy. You need to be on a track rapping, bitch. Because you being hilarious is, is an overstatement. Again, I ain't never come to you with no pressure. I've never had no pressure with you. We used to inbox each other, communicate with each other, whatever. I didn't like some shit you said. You ain't like some shit I said. You decided not to be, just be a man about it and stand on motherfucking 10 toes and be like, puss asshole and, and say it in my face. We could have been, we could have chopped it up like this over the phone, over the FaceTime. When Jason Lee, when you was doing Hollywood Squares, called you while you was back in the, uh, called me while you was back in the dressing room and you came on looking gorgeous because you were looking so gorgeous. Yes, you was. Looking so gorgeous. And I said, bitch, we don't got to be in this place. Bitch, I fuck with you. Your anger is misplaced. What's the tea? Your anger is misplaced. What you, what you feel some type of way towards me for? I actually agreed with you when you were saying only females have periods. I was agreeing with you. Great. Is there anything you'd like to say? There's a lot I want to say. Well, come on. Let's do We have some fag talk right now. My thing is, I want to start with the whole Breakfast Club as an entity. I'm subscribed to the channel. I watch the channel. I follow their Instagram page. But I must say, and this has nothing to do with her now occupying this space, I enjoyed it a whole lot better. When Angela Yee was there, that's the truth. Hell, y'all could have. Hell, y'all should have let my sister flame my roasted in there. At least it would have been duality, dual sets of opinions. And I think that there, that that's the balance that's missing. To me, it feels like it's going straight ignorant now. Like when they had Nikki Haley on there, there was First no. First of all, let's talk about since they want to talk about is being violent again. When Lil Duval set his midget ass up, motherfucking there on the Breakfast mm -hmm. Club, and after Janet Mock left, and he spoke about how he would kill a tranny. And they all sat around in in in, in agreement and and snickering and key fucking keying, <laughs> and didn't see nothing wrong with that. I just be over it. I be truly over it. And then the blog take little pieces and try to make me enemy public enemy number one, and oh, and completely overlook that this nigga was talking about how fat bitches, because that's what big back mean. Talking about how fat bitches are more gullible than, than, than skinny bitches. When you got the skinny bitch sitting next to you who a nigga is on Shannon Sharp show saying, leave me alone, bitch. The fuck? Like nobody see that. Country Wayne said, leave me alone. It's been five years, shouting. Gone on. He said that, and you got to look back, ho. He said, leave me alone. Do we need to pull the clip up? <laughs> I mean. He wants you to go on about your business, shout it. But yet, you know, you want to say how big back bitches have these motherfucking issues and how big back bitches are so gullible. You on man number what now? Which man this is? Because according to the streets of Baltimore, one of them niggas <laughs> was playing heavily in your face. Go ahead, Craig. I just <laughs> <laughs> for me, and I know people felt the way about Angela Yee. Like you can't make everybody happy, right? But at least Angela Yee brought some level of balance. She reported on stories, and, and that's the, the other thing I wanted to talk about. We got so many people getting behind microphones, calling themselves reporting. Now, I actually have a degree from Hampton University in journalism. So I'm actually a journalist. At least Angela Yee did a little bit of background digging. Hold on. Somebody in the comments saying they live in Baltimore, they ain't heard that. Well, you ain't connected to the punks like the punks is connected to each other because we definitely heard that all the way. That, that tea shattered in Atlanta. <laughs> and obviously that bitch heard it too. But go ahead, <laughs> she would at least get some background information. I've watched this this interview, these interviews now where Iyala Van Zandt was on it. DJ Envy couldn't even pronounce her name. Like, how is it that you, and he went to Hampton. He was there when I was there. And it's just like, it's like they don't even take the time to prepare. They don't do any investigation. And my thing is, when you're going to call yourself a reporter or reporting on stuff, 
you need to get all sides of the story so that it's balanced. And there's this, there's this lopsided thing that they do. Whenever something gay comes up, whenever something trans come up, comes up, whenever something queer comes up, there has to be this, we, we need to eradicate this divide between the black queer community and the black community. Because the truth is, and I've said this here, and I'm gonna say it again, black queer people save the black community. Girl, they don't wanna hear that. Just they don't like, wanna hear it. Just like if you say Malcolm X was bisexual, they're gonna go into a frenzy. They go, you equate everything, but this ain't got this don't have nothing to do. The issue is if you are what you are, stand on it. Bitch, I am a tit, I have titties at the top, dick at the bottom. I stand on that all the time. I've been standing on it since I met y'all motherfucking hoes on the internet from the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't tell nobody that I was born no female or I am no fucking female. I don't even get into that into those spaces like that. I don't even ride like that. I stand on exactly who I am, bitch. I am a she male, a he she, a in between, whatever it is. I am those things. And ma'am, you need to stand on the internal feelings that you got because every time you get a moment to motherfucking shake the table towards a faggot or a motherfucking tranny, bitch, you take it, you take the initiative to, to, to do it. See you and you hide behind. I'm telling Joe. Yeah, yeah. She confuses vitriol for comedy. But I do want to finish what I was saying about the black gay community or black queer community saving the black community. Because I'm sure there are people thinking like, well, what the fuck he talking about? Some of you are just learning who Bayard Rustin is. But not for the fact that Bayard Rustin existed. The, the March on Washington wouldn't have happened. The Freedom Riders wouldn't have happened. He was the brainchild behind all of that. He was cut out of history because he was a fag. An F-A-G. Then there's Zora Neale Hurston. We are the culture. We create the culture. James Baldwin, uh, Alice Walker. The list goes on. Langston Hughes. But we don't want to talk about that. What I mean by the black queer community saved the black community exactly is there's Marsha P. Johnson. Let me not forget her. A black queer woman, a trans woman. But we have been at the forefront of every major movement that this country has seen. Civil rights women's rights, HIV, AIDS, you name it, we've been at the forefront. The black community owes a huge debt to black queer people. And I sit here all of the time and I'm, and I'm tearing up white folks because they don't always want to admit and acknowledge the truth. But now is the time that we really talk about black folks because the truth is the truth. And if we don't get this shit together in terms of this divide between black queer people and black people, you think the Republicans are gonna have listen, Craig? They the mind the mind doesn't gauge that far. They want to sit here and it's just because that was that cat call she did yeah. when she was screaming out, "Who's gonna protect us? Mm -hmm. Who in her in her words and voice? Who's gonna protect us? Who's gonna protect us? Who? What about the real women? The real women it is. Okay, cool. Who's going to protect us? It's the same way. Now, when I'm over here, uh, got my cap to save a nigga on, a cap to save a bitch cape on, telling Charlamagne, like, I don't love shouting. Now, you know that all big back bitches ain't gullible for no nigga. It, small back bitches is. Now, a woman is over here helping drag. Helping you drag. Mm -hmm. But a tranny over here, like, nah, don't do that. Shout it's a whole bunch of big back bitches that's, that might be gullible, just as many as the skin. It's a lot of you hold you Instagram model hoes right now, bitch who nigga. Oh God, hold it, hold my tongue, mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Hold it. And for all of the black queer people, you gotta start holding your head up tall. Because the more you learn and educate yourself about black queer history, black queer history, and the contributions that we have made in this country, the more you know, the taller you'll stand. And you'll stop walking into barbershops, nail salons, and hair salons with your head hung down, trying to be stealth, trying to pass, and, and allowing people to say things about black queer culture and you not say anything because you're just hoping to pass. I want to take it back to the space of people paying close attention 
that everybody skipped over the fat phobic mm-hmm. and everybody skipped over the fat shaming mm-hmm. that they did and went directly to me saying is we gonna k his face in or what because this is called what i'm doing right now is caving in this whole face Currently, and I ain't lifted my hands to her. But see, you know what happens? They, let's, let's talk about go ahead, go ahead. it. What happens is... Give me a little bit more y'all of that have, line, though. Y'all have dug over into the faggot go, the community. Come on. That's where I was going, bitch. You have dug over to the faggot community. Reached in. And you know, dug in That's there right. over to the faggot community because you done had two, three hairstylists that done gave you the word T and, and shade and all this stuff. And you done got in there and done found our code words. And now you want to pick through and sift through which is offensive to you and which words that you can use and then y'all run out in the streets and have capitalized, monetized bitch off of the, off of the words that we said in our fag community. Let me make it plain, bitch. You've appropriated gay culture. We spend a lot of time talking about white folks appropriating and gentrifying black culture. But that's exactly what's happened. But we haven't, we haven't we don't mind sharing. I don't give a fuck about that. Just we don't, don't mind just, sharing. Just don't try to weaponize me saying some That's stuff. That's right. Because like, because when I'm reading Craig or he or, 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 or he reading me, it's we gonna claw each other back. We gonna grow cave in each other face. That's right. Wearing your ass out. That's not a threat, bitch. Those are promises. But it's just like when the word fish, they didn't understand it. And, and you it, see, I laid that down. Exactly. I laid it down. I laid it down. I don't even say that shit no more. It's puss ass hoe and bitch for me when I feel some type of way. That's right. They say shade and tea, and I don't even say, and I'm a fag, an F-A-G. And, but my thing is, stop using sexuality and gender identity and all of that stuff as a weapon, because it's not. The first thing out of That's their right. mouth, they say, it's giving all right. type of shit. All, it, it's zesty. All the men are right. Girl, you are fags. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. People, people don't really understand how our lingo really had to get in effect. We were, since you bitches love to talk about how y'all be is straight phobia, sweetheart, y'all ain't never had to hide who the fuck y'all was. Y'all ain't never had to hide y'all being straight or y'all being women or men. Y'all ain't never had to hide that. We had to have cold words in our community to communicate and talk amongst each other so that we knew who each other were exactly. because we were trying to assimilate and blend in. That's right. And walk in the day, be day walkers. Let them know. So that we weren't killed and murdered just for being who we the fuck are. And then you infiltrate our language. That's right. And then take pieces out of it and find, oh, I'm mad at this. Well, it wasn't for you. It wasn't. These were cold words, bitch, to keep us safe. The fuck? There's so many parallels between gay rights and civil rights. That's one of them. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Y'all get the fuck out of here. Charlamagne, you know I fucks with you the long way. And I, and bitch, I, what, what the fuck I'm going to threaten you for about you having some faith? Do you know, I done said all types of ignorant, dumb, stupid ass shit that I done got checked on later on for saying. But I don't have no L in my heart to be trying to pop you or, or put my hands on you because you saying, bitch, that was funny. Just like you caught it was being funny. You knew it was funny. But she gassed it up. She tried to. She attempted to. And he kept trying to owl her down. Uh -huh. And she kept trying to raise it because her pressure is with me. Hold, talk directly to me like I'm talking to you. Hilarious. <laughs> talk directly to me. I've attempted on numerous occasions to have direct conversation with you so we don't have to be in no place where it's up. But obviously, this is where we at. This is where we at, nigga. So, <laughs> I'm here now. You don't call me, so what's up? Because we can cave in each other's face all week because I'm with the shits. I just don't want your water to break, girl, because I there's more. Still, we have to cross those lines, bitch. There's more. And I know it's going to be a lot of you hoes out there that's going to try to wonder the twin power and link up and activate and be like, but she a real woman. They don't have nothing to do with the price of rice in China. Nothing. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is being factual in what we say. 
And, and what we saying is, girl, just call a thing a thing. This is what you are. You feel some type of way towards me for what? I done been on every interview, every show saying, I actually agree with some of the things that she, Craig, and, and I ain't lying, it's out there. Mm -hmm. I've actually agreed with some with the things, especially when it came down to that period stuff. Because if you have nuts, balls, scrotum, you don't have a period. If you have nuts, balls, dick, scrotum, whatever the fuck you want, you don't have a fucking period. You don't. So I've been on every platform saying, I feel where she's coming from. She's a woman. She's a black woman. And I understand how black women are treated, how men treat black women. And as soon as I said, I never call her a man because I didn't call her a man. I said she has masculine energy, which the fuck she do. And I also fucking said that she was beautiful, which she is. And then as soon as I said it, DJ Academics turned around and said that she was the fucking man. I've never called that woman a man. But she has nigga energy. Yes. I'm a part of the big back. Yes, I am a self-proclaimed big backer. I'm a big backer, a big dicker, a big banker, all that. So just so when you add big back on it, add big back, big bank, big motherfucking mouth, big energy, big presence. Add that on there. Big standing on business. Add that shit on motherfucking there when you talking about me. You could never hurt my feeling calling me no motherfucking tranny, bitch, ever. Do you know how much money I clean out, bitch, by, by being that? You've lost your fucking mind. Y'all hoes be having problems. Y'all had that Kimberell syndrome. That bitch ain't like motherfucking gays because a, a fag snatched her husband up. Somewhere up in the Pennsylvania area. That don't be our fault. You hoes that experience that type of shit, that's not our fault. All us ain't your enemy. Actually, if you hoes my friend, I'm not going to be fucking on your nigga. I'm going to tell, tell somebody. I mean, I tell you because you may not want to hear it from me. But I'm going to tell somebody, bitch, that nigga is doing some fuck shit. If you my friend. I be trying to get to the root of, damn, what the fuck these hoes problem is? Like, if a bitch ain't fucking with her, what's these hoes problem? Oh, yeah. It, it, usually, leave, it usually traces back to, mm hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And when all the girls, oh, the when all the girls were faxing me the, your previous tea about the nigga that you was with, I was like, oh, it's all coming together. It's coming together now. And then provided me with photographs. Did we want to put that on? No, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Oh, okay. We can't even show those photographs here. Oh, okay. But then it's showing me photographs. I'm like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Because, you know, I am a journalist. You know, we like to report oh, all of Okay, facts. okay. So we, okay. I get it. And as a woman, I can understand, bitch. You feel it some type of way. You done gave all your good, milky, creamy, yummy, birthing pussy up to a nigga that you love to find out that he's swallowing dick. Of course, your my feelings would be hurt. Of course, my feelings would be hurt. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> you don't gave your good, creamy, milky, juicy. Pink I ain't never been touched on the inside pussy up to a nigga and you done read faggots since the day one and the nigga over there, bitch, niggas will embarrass you, Keisha. As long as you live, niggas will embarrass you. It's not your fault. You still a woman. You still a woman. You still beautiful. You still the things. It's not your fault. And it's also not the fault of the rest of the faggots because all the faggots ain't doing that. out of that again 
Charlemagne, we don't have no pressure. Again, just me and you ain't never had no pressure. But you keep you keep sending for me. And I have tried not to come. <laughs> On every occasion, tried to, I, and I don't, I don't even call my sister over here. And be like, girl, why this, why this whole key, why this whole key tapping me like this, or why she right? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do this. And I don't even let the media bait me, but it's up today, cause you did this on your own. I don't even let the media. But TMZ was just on my line just a little, just a minute ago about this, about this. So, bitch, we're not going to act like that. My presence ain't no, ain't the presence. And bitches be talking about something. Well, why do, why does, why Madison always got to speak with something? I be on my social media. When I post on my social media about how I feel about the shit that's going on in the world, I don't post that for the blogs to pick up. I don't post it. For, I post it because this is how I feel. What the fuck you mean I don't got, like, I don't have a right to have an opinion. Why? Because I'm a, I'm a chick with a fucking dick. Oh, I'm a nigga that I can't have no motherfucking opinion about the shit that's going on. I need to shut up. Well, guess what, bitch? I'm not. I'm not shutting the fuck up. I'm not. And you hoes ain't gonna be able to get rid of me on your worst motherfucking day. You're not gonna be able to get rid of me. So you're gonna see my opinion. You're gonna see my motherfucking voice. You're gonna hear me all over this place, bitch, because my voice counts too. So just like you jump your motherfucking missing edge and ads over <laughs> into a situation that ain't had nothing to do with you, I jump my big back motherfucking fat neck ass over in this one too. <laughs> So we even. Now, sis, you got my number. I got yours. We could text. We could call. We could FaceTime. We don't even got to let the public know, bitch, that we don't had no type of conversation. If you want to. If not, we can keep this. We can, we can ping pong over the internet all day. Like I said in my initial post to you when you was felt some type of way about that period shit, bitch, in my initial post, I'm not scared of you, ho. Bitch, I'm not scared of your mouth at all. Bitch, I'm just as vicious. And I ain't, I have just begun, sir. I am just as vicious, bitch. But we don't even have to be in that space. We don't have to be in that space. Because that's not the space. I, all this year, Craig, you watched me. You done, you done tapped me on my back and said, sister, I got to tell you, you got some growth going on mm -hmm. here. Every interview I did about you, every motherfucking uh, 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 time the media has spoken to me about you, I have said nothing but good things about you. Nothing. I have said nothing but good things about you. And not only have I said good things about you, I also told the media how I've seen things from your point of view. But yet, here we go. Every chance she gets. Every chance the fuck you get. What you think, a nigga gonna swing on me? What you think, a nigga supposed to swing on me? Bitch, you must don't know. You must don't know I'm with all the shit. Any nigga, any nigga wanna can get it. That's from me and all mine. Anything, anything else? Breakfast club, you just gotta do better. A lot better. You really, you have too many ears. People are holding on to your every word. You gotta have a little bit more social responsibility over there. Angela Yee, I, again, I miss her presence. I miss what she brought to the table. And I really do think that they should have had someone that's a little bit more politically savvy. Still have their ear to the street, but politically savvy too, so that there's some balance. Because God knows what DJ Envy over there talking about. And I, listen, and he went to Hampton. Anyway, we did this in love and peace. And hair grease, bitch. It's Black History Month. We ain't got but two days left. That's right. It's Black History Month, girl. Your little small back ass is over, still, still pulling on Country Wayne's nuts. And he told your little small back ass to get the fuck off him. And you still pulling on his nuts. And Risa Tisa big back ass was over there motherfucking gullible with her nigga. So we all done been gullible for somebody. Charlamagne, you was fucking off on your wife. Was she gullible for you when she got a small back? Was she gullible for you? Little back bitches do, do just as bad as big back bitches. What was you saying? How many times you was fucking off on your wife with another little back bitch? And her little back ass over there was still motherfucking running around in a circle for you. 
nigga. Just do in your feet relationship, lady, six or seven or whichever the fuck one it is. Bitch, and you done been gullible for them niggas in your back small. The fuck? Gauge the motherfucking room, especially when you talk about me, bitch, because I'm coming to you H O O D. All day. You got the rest of them educated ass, got them academia ass trainers that's going to come through and try to school you and give you the one plus one. I'm giving your ass ground zero. Y'all feel some type of way because you done motherfucking got the T in the street that your nigga was long, deep, thoking, a punk, bitch. And y'all be feeling some type of way about the girls because that be y'all don't have an experience. All of us ain't doing that to y'all niggas. Anyway. I don't even want to do the rest. Do no more. I'm going right. to go. All right. Get your tickets for, for Nashville. Nashville. We will be loud, live, and in motherfucking color in Nashville, Tennessee on February 29th. Get your tickets. Click the link in my bio. I'm going to put this thing on the screen about my damn perfume. Get you some perfume. <laughs> Take your phone, scan across there, bitch. 20% off everything, bitch. Use code MADDIE20. That's M A D D I E. 20. Y'all be blessed. Sign up for pay for you say. Yes. Maddie 100. Maddie 100. Y'all be blessed. Anything else that gotta be the mess? Tell Jess Hilarious. I'm with the shit too. Bye, Miss Hilarious. <laughs> Bye. Come <laughs> on. Bye. You, you met me as, as me. Yes. This hair looks delicious on you. Yes! This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes! Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey. You know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular, hot ass gossiper. Oh, honey. I was born a fag. And so are you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. I say it again. I am rich. You're what? That's right, girl. T H A G. Popular. Hot ass. Gospel. Hey, that's right. You're rich. I mean, sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Not the other one. But that counts. Hey, girl, what is this? Plum Burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You met me as, as me. Yes. Yes. Bro, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes. Girl, what is this plum burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 